So here's what's going on. We added a rule and we finally actually get to use this rule where all of the gym fights after Sabrina, really pretty much all the big fights and any like giant boss fight, the only info, because this game is so ridiculously hard, the only info I'm allowed to be given are the typings of the Pokemon I'm fighting. I don't want the names, the moves, the stats, none of it. Just the typings that I'm fighting against in the next big fight. So assuming that that's Koga, anybody that has the information, feel free to let me know what typings I'm going up against. Obviously, I'm assuming there's gonna be some sort of poison. Okay, here we go, we have the types. Normal flying, okay, there's a million normal flying types, that's gonna be fun. Poison dark, I don't really know what that's gonna be. Bug, water dark, dragon ghost, and electric poison. Oh, okay, well, electric poison, that's pretty easy. That's gotta be toxicity. Dragon ghost, I think is Dragapult. I think that has to be Dragapult. I don't think there's any other Dragon Ghost unless... Water Dark is a weird one. I don't know... I honestly don't know what that could even be. So that one's gonna be a bit of a question mark. Bug could be a lot of different Pokemon, but if it's just Mono Bug, that does narrow it down a bit. It could be like Carablast? Or what's the other one? He looks like the, the brain guy. Excelgore! 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 I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I, got it. I had to reach deep in the archives. <laughs> I mean, unless they go like pincer. Wait, in this game, I know that they gave Arbok dark and poison. So it could be Arbok. So some sort of annoying trolley ass snake probably. And then normal flying, dude, I'm gonna be honest. Normal flying is so many different options. <laughs> That one is gonna be impossible to narrow down. <laughs> the only ones I guess I would be worried about would be a cracked out Dodrio, maybe some sort of annoying Noctowl. Like if, like if not, I don't know if Noctowl gets like Parish Song, but that would be really annoying. Oh, Guts, Flame Orb Swellow is a classic in these kinds of runs. If they do that, I'm gonna be fucking pissed. I would much rather fight like another Staraptor. <laughs> they could do, ooh, they could do Braviary Tailwind though. They could do Braviary Tailwind. It's got some better bulk. They could like mix it up on you. You do Trick Room in one gym and then the next gym they do Tailwind. That could be weird. Oh, there's double battles. No, man. Okay, it's actually fine. Hopefully these uh, double battles aren't completely cringe and troll, right? Oh, I didn't mean to do... Mm. Wasn't even close. <laughs> Wasn't even close, dude. It was fine. Wasn't even close. All right, I don't like this thing that they're doing where they keep making you do multiple battles back to back without being able to heal. I don't like that. Kind of a cringe thing they're doing. Okay. Oh yeah, Excelgore. Okay, so, oh, that is mono bug. Okay, that's really helpful info actually. So this could be what we fight in this next gym. Do we outspeed this thing? We don't. Okay, so this thing is fast as fuck. Oh, we sent in an extra Joel. <laughs> ah, not a good move, man. <laughs> it's base speed is 145. Holy shit. Okay, so I'm not outspeeding that unless I use electrode on it. Holy. Or, okay, if the gym leader has one and we go Gale Wings Talonflame, Dual wing beat in case it has the sash. Legitimate option. These battles are kind of hard. Swampert, dude. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> All right, fuck you. Oh, you went Mega Caesar. Ice Fang. Oh my god, dude. All right, get in there. Bang. Oh my god, these fights are actually kind of insane. Let's go damage with Mach Punch, I guess. Oh my, stop. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Wait a minute, dude. This is, uh, this is being cringe. This is being cringe. It's being cringe. We better not lose to some rando. Honestly, we probably won't because random battles are, um, you know, they're random for a reason, dude. They're random. So like we, you know, like if we lose, surely, like we don't count a loss to a random trainer, right? Like surely, like surely, have we lost to a random trainer yet? Well, we usually don't count uh, random trainer fights as losses, you know? 
like all the optional fights with like Bugsy and stuff, you know, like they don't really count. Surely we don't count a random trainer fight as the run being over, you know? Yeah, I'm not sure why random trainers have mega evolutions. It's kind of, it's kind of weird that they even have those in the first place. Like we're just trying to show off what it is. Like this isn't, this was a joke fight. It was joke. I was joking. It was actually a joke, but I will just for solidarity. It was a joke fight. I was just joking about even doing that fight in the first place. I will add one to the whiteout counter. Now we'll actually stop trolling, man. So apparently the game has decided that every single random trainer you fight is going to be extremely strong. So what we need to do is just make sure that we have a good team set up so that way we're not getting absolutely fisted. So let's see what we can do here. Like maybe that's what we do rule wise for, I mean, if every random battle is gonna be that insane, maybe we just make a rule where like after Sabrina, like random fights count towards the whiteout list, but like don't count for new runs maybe, I don't know. Cause if all the battles are gonna be like this insane, like, come on. <laughs> I have to go in blind to battles that are just like insanely stacked against me. Every single battle. Add the rule to the command and make it so. Yeah, I mean, that's probably what I'm just gonna have to do. Cause I really, I don't wanna be losing runs to every random trainer if it's gonna be that difficult, you know? Stealth rock, oh. Bang. Okay, put me to sleep. It's fine. Cacturn comes in. It is now time for the Joler. Ow, what the f how did that do so much? No way it outspeeds, right? Wow, it has bullet punch. Joler comes in, intimidates, protects. Peepo Sad comes in, it rains again, scald. Big damage. Peepo Sad hard carries. <laughs> Surely we win two in a row, right? Oh, stun fisk, huh? Oh, scald, man. Oh, Dracovish, dragon water. What's it gonna go for? Ficious Rend, is that a water move? Let's just see how much like a Scald does, you know? What is Ficious Rend? Wow, 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 wow. That did a lot of damage. Massive damage, go boom, that's it. It's just a super strong water physical attack. Sceptile, I guess. And just try to breaking swipe. How is it so fast? Surely we outspeed. Oh my god. Oh my god, it has an R on? Are you serious? Are you actually that ass? <laughs> There's no way you're doing this. There's no way that's what we're doing right now. Dude, I'm about to scream. This is why we made the rule. This is so fucking dumb, man. Oh my god. It's so incredibly dumb. Like, this game just took a massive turn for the worse. Why is it so troll? Okay. <sighs> like, this is so dumb. All right, that's another wide out. Why are random trainer fights this annoying? Why? Actually, why? Just an omega amount of cringe. That's another $5 down the drain. Wow, Slaylani. Actually, it's not down the drain. Actually worth it. Ficious Rend deals damage. If the user attacks before the target or if the target switches in during that turn, Ficious Rend is used, its base power doubles to 170. Dude. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> the only thing I'm like, I've been annoyed about is just like, these difficulty spikes are just kind of frustrating. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna lie. It's been one of my only criticisms is like, whenever there is a difficulty spike, it is a massive one. Like, the spike between like Misty's gym and Surge's gym, like a huge difficulty spike. And then the difference between like Erica and Sabrina, a huge difficulty spike. Like, even Erica was a huge difficulty spike, but like you could manage it. Like it, it was manageable still. It, it's just the, the difficulty spikes are kind of crazy. And I'm, I don't want to have to just like change up so many rules for the run. Cause I'd, I'd like to be able to complete this challenge without having to like change rules too much. But I also want to be able to beat this challenge at some point. I don't want to be doing this challenge for like two years. We're like doing the best we can, <laughs> but it's, it's why we keep, keep having to make some slight adjustments to the rules. Cause it's just so ridiculously difficult at times. So the stun fist comes in to start. So stealth rocks did get set and we're going to giga drain and we're going to giga drain. There we go. Septile comes in. Bullet Seed, 
Should kill. There we go. And now it's just the goddamn Auron, dude. I don't know how to kill this. Oh, never mind. I killed it. <laughs> Holy shit. Chat, we finally get another encounter. What's it going to be? All right. Give me something good. Okay. It's a wheezing. It's just a normal ass wheezing. And it didn't get in the quick ball. So I have to... Dude, are we being dead ass? Incredibly tragic. Incredibly tragic. We Our first new encounter, and it's just exploding. Honestly, I couldn't have... I, I couldn't have scripted it better myself. What do you mean it's not the time to use that? What do you mean it's not the time? I'm standing by water. Dude. Alright, let me see what this next trainer has to offer. Are you good? Two Pokemon. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So now it's just a level 55 shitter? I'm sorry. What the fuck is this? So this guy is just a normal ass little shitter trainer. But the like five trainers up there were mega evolving Giga Chad gym leader level difficult? What is this? Dude, I'm actually annoyed. I'm actually annoyed. Why were those fights so difficult? And these are just like, wait, is this guy also just like a normal shitter? Dude. Okay, okay. Can we just, can we just talk about this for a second? Whoever makes Radical Red, okay? Whoever the creators are, okay? Why? Why? Okay? Why are you making the trainers at the top of the route so absurdly strong compared to the rest of this route? Why? Why would you do that? Oh, but now we're back to being cracked, are we? Oh, cool, man. All right, dude. Breaking swipe still kills you. Fuck you. <laughs> Bullet seed again. Shitter. Wait, it's already raining here. I don't even need Politoed Drizzle setup. It's already raining here. All right, how many Pokemon? One, two, three, four. Okay, four Pokemon. You're starting with Cramorant. Okay, it's probably Focus Sash Cramorant. Level 66. That's eh, just fine, man. That's just fine. Hyper voice. Okay, we're switching. Okay, so the AI is just cheating. The AI is actually just cheating and reading my moves. You just knew I was using a normal type hyper voice. Ah, it's just a cool, uh, just a cool feature, man. What a cool feature. What else does it have? That's the real question here. What else does it have? Holy shit, it is like, wow. Wait, we still killed it. It had so much health too. That bar was going down so slow. So we're gonna fake out to break potential sash. Oh, just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. I'm an idiot. Oh my God, we survived. Wow, we survived. Oh, Decidueye. Oh, it's going for Roost. Yeah, I'm just gonna Dragon Dance, man. Bang, bang, bang. Holy shit on. Okay, actually shit on. We get another encounter here, chat. Surely it's something good. I mean, okay, I guess. Sure. Not really like a great encounter, I guess. I mean, I don't know. It might be kind of decent in this game, but typically Zatu's kind of mid. Four Pokemon. Peak. Oh, it's a double battle. Wow. Just random double battle. Cool, man. Surfing Pikachu and Milotic. Pikachu's going fake out. Ooh, Pikachu has Lightning Rod. Oh my God, you have Mirror Coat on Milotic. You're so unbelievably lame. Oh my god, okay. Uh, so I can't actually switch out freely. Well, we can Hyper Voice and... I just gotta get damage. I gotta get this Pikachu off the field. What is Bouncy Bubble? What is this? What the fuck is that? Oh my, does it heal? Dude, no way. You're so lame. You're so lame. Wait, they both have it? What the fuck is Bouncy Bubble? What are these moves? It's a Let's Go Pikachu move? I fucking hate that those games were ever made. They're such stupid ass, dog ass video games. I'm just kidding. I'm just mad. I'm just molding. I'm just kidding, man. Those games are fine. They're fine. Okay, Gudra comes out, which is actually good because this allows us to double into the Milotic for free. It's really good damage. Really good damage. Incredibly good damage. Might be enough to where this doesn't heal enough because we have such good special defense. We're gonna see if this Drain Punch can kill, maybe. I don't know if it does, but it should do a lot. Oh, it actually kills. Oh, look at that, dude. All right, we're Hyper Voicing. We are Drain Punching. It should be GG. Finally. Oh my God, we're actually here. Wait, we're actually, dude. Chad, I don't think you realize. We've never been here before in this game. First time in Fuchsia City. For now, that six is probably the best that I've got. But we still have a couple more encounters that we have access to. So I kind of want to see what else is available. Mods on spoiler watch right now. Pretty sure all the mods are asleep, man. 
Oh God, no, don't tell me. Fancy meeting you here. You took down the boss, huh? I'm really sorry I couldn't be there for it, but I was never really worried about you. Recently obtained the Mega Ring, so I'd like to put myself to the test. I see you've got one too. Dude, we're just getting jump scared with a battle. Oh my God, man. Unfortunately, I think my Metagross probably loses this. Let's go protect. It's going Earthquake, okay. It's gonna have clear body, so Joler's not gonna be able to do that much here. I can't believe I'm just getting like jump scared with another battle. Well, if he's going Earthquake, I mean, Joler's the obvious choice, has clear body, but we can dodge the Earthquake. And then I kinda wanna see what else it goes for. So we're gonna protect. It's... Of course you get Stealth Rock, man. Of course you get Stealth Rock. I mean, what else is it gonna have here? I don't even know. I mean, I guess we just try to Dragon Dance. I mean, we know it's not going Earthquake, right? So let's just go Jolteon, eat the hit. It's going Explosion. <laughs> it's <laughs> just an unreal amount of cringe, dude. Like, you're so lame. All right, I'm setting up Rain. Okay, Sceptile comes in. Of course, of course Sceptile comes in. All right, so this is gonna be Mega Sceptile and we don't have Ice Beam on, so... Uh, what's it gonna use? That is just unfathomably bad, dude. Okay, I have to go Joler. Because I need to lower its fucking attack. I can't just let that Sword Dance go up for free, so... It's going Bullet Seed. Oh my god. Like... Alright, Fake Out. Ice Beam. How is it faster? I'm in Swift Swim. I have Swift Swim. Oh... Like, this is so- why am I getting jump scared with a fight here? Why is there a fight here? I mean, does this even count as like a big fight, dude? Like, does it really count? Honestly, like, are we really- <laughs> Alright, well, this is all I can do. So, Metacham. <laughs> That's cool, man. Okay, so, are we counting this? Is the run over? Is the run just dead because of a jump scare rival fight? that we couldn't even prepare for. Is that gonna count as a battle that ends a run? One that w w literally just jump scares us? You guys could just vote honestly. I, I wanna know what you guys think because I, f I feel like a complete jump scare battle is a little cringe to lose the entire run on. Like the fact that they decided to put this fight at the Safari Zone and not even give you a warning of like, hey, I wanna fight, are you ready to fight? And it's just no, there's no option. It's a little lame. Here's the deal. Because you guys voted no, it's just a whiteout. If now that I'm not gonna get jump scared, if we white out again for this fight, I will count it as the run ending, but I am going to allow myself to actually like make sure I've got like Pokemon, like actually prepare like it's a real battle. So now that we know we have to do a fight against Brennan, let's make sure we have the right Pokemon. We've only seen one person Nuzlocke this game and he had three death boxes. <laughs> that sounds about right. That's why we're not doing a Nuzlocke. <laughs> That's why it's a dude's lock. It's the fun part about Nuzlocke's, you choose the rules. It's true. Unfortunately, there are people that are, you know, very particular about rules. And usually, I don't know. Some people just don't understand there's like a balance between <laughs> rules and trying to have like fun content, you know? Sometimes that's hard to explain to people. Like that's why we're not, if I was wanting to do a hardcore fucking Nuzlocke, like, Obviously things would be different, but like we're trying to balance it. We want it to be doable <laughs> in some capacity. You go full Nuzlocke rules and made it to Koga, the sixth gym leader going in full on blood. Yeah, but you probably went in with knowledge, dude. Oh wait, you went in blind. Wow. Wait, are you just saying that you're a better gamer than me? Is that the, is that a ban? Might be a ban. Unfortunately, might have to be a permanent ban. It's uh, hurting the ego of the streamer. It's against the rules on twitch.tv man fortunately thankfully for you there's no mods <laughs> i don't even know what my strat is here man i'm i'm so out of it okay so i've got lapras to help deal with septile metagross can also help deal with septile if something goes wrong we have our own septile to potentially just like mega evolve and hopefully handle some of the other pokemon Gyarados for potential Intimidate strats, Infernape because it's Infernape, and then we have Zatu to help with bouncing back the Stealth Rocks, I guess. All we've seen so far is 
three of his Pokemon. We've seen Metacham, Sceptile, and Metagross. Based on the teams that he's had previously in this game, whether when he's battling with us or against us, he's usually had, like, he had a Corefish and then a Crawdont. So we could still see Crawdont, which Sceptile should fuck up pretty hard. The team of three he had when we fought in the Silphco was Sceptile, Exploud, and Masquerade. So we could very well just see Crawdont, Masquerade, Exploud. You know what I'm saying? Let's put the plan into motion. We really have to hope that he just tries to Stealth Rock turn one. We really want him to Stealth Rock here. If he doesn't Stealth Rock, it's not the end of the world, but be really nice if he tried to Stealth Rock here. Please go for Stealth Rock. Please go for Stealth Rock. Yes, yes, okay, good start. Good start, excellent start. Now, we guard swap. Okay, it goes Meteor Mash. Well, now we have 140 base defense, so that's nice. Ah, it still did a lot of damage. So if we go into Gyarados, it likely explodes. Let me just protect to make sure I know what it's going for here. Actually, if I go into Gyarados, it probably, it probably just tries to Stealth Rock again. I did Guard Swap. So right now, I think my defensive stats should be... I, like, I think Metagross's defenses should be what Zatu's were before, right? Isn't that what Guard Swap does? The user uses its psychic power to switch change. Oh, changes to its. Oh, shit. I did not read that very carefully. Damn it. Okay. I have an idea. So it uses Meteor Mash here, right? Shouldn't really do that much. It's going to go for either Stealth Rock or Earthquake. So we go back into Delphi. Okay, it's going Stealth Rock. We once again bounce it back. We protect to waste another Meteor Mash. <laughs> Do you see the vision? I'm mainly trying to get it weak enough so I can switch into Nasty Nick and Fire Punch and kill it. So we go Joler here, tank another Meteor Mash back into Zatu. Now, if it explodes here, that's also fine. <laughs> it could just explode here. Okay, nice. He's used it quite a bit. <gasps> he exploded! That's good! He exploded! Yes! Okay, Metagross is off the field! That's big! Dude, if it goes Sceptile... I mean, at this point, Zatu has done its job. It did its job, okay? Exploud, okay. So now we're gonna see what it's going for. Takes the Stealth Rock damage. We do Protect. What is it going for? Shadow Ball. Okay, so we don't have anything that can just tank the Shadow Ball just fine. So right here, we simply let Delphi die. It did its job. Esper Wing, a little bit of chip damage. It went for Surf. Okay, it's time for Drain Punch. Kill it. Kill it. Surely. Yes, dude. Yes. Metacham. Okay, so this Metacham last time was kind of cringe. But because we have the Focus Sash available this time, we might actually be okay. Metacham somehow outsped with Close Combat last time. And I'm not really sure how it did it. I don't know if it has like an ability that lets it do that. I don't really know. I don't know what that is all about, but Metacham has a Scarf. See, that would make sense. I mean, I could do U-Turn here and go into Sceptile, right? And then Mega Evolve and surely we outspeed, right? We would have a hundred and what, 45 speed or whatever with Sceptile. Eat the close combat. Focus Sash holds on. Wow, that, okay. We would have absolutely killed with Fire Punch, by the way. That's kind of, wait, we could just go Metagross then. We just Bullet Punch. Oh, the switch out. Crawdont, I, how did I know, dude? Wow. Okay, okay. So we have to deal with a Crawdont now. Surely it's going for knockoff, right? Liquidation. Wait, that's actually good. I'm going Sceptile. I'm going Sceptile. Nice. That's good. We could go Drain Punch for getting some health back, or we just go Bullet Seed to make sure it dies. And I think I just want to go Bullet Seed. So I don't know if Drain Punch would actually kill here. Now, it could just switch into its own Sceptile here, which would be cringe. Um, oh, it doesn't switch though. Okay, cool. This is a big kill. This is a big kill here. Metacham comes back in. So it does outspeed then. This thing does outspeed. If you're sending back in Metacham, 
it's 100% outspeeding, which means I think, I think we have to go Metagross and go for Bullet Punch. Or we let Nasty Nick die. I think we just let Nasty Nick die and then go Metagross. It went for Ice Punch. Okay, now we know. It's locked into Ice Punch. It is locked into Ice Punch. This could be really good for us. If we go Lapras and Ice Shard, nothing can just switch into that. Oh, wait, he has, wait. He has Metacham and Sceptile and one other though. And we don't know what the last Pokemon is. <gasps> Ooh, that's not good. That's not good. We don't like that. Mm, okay, I think we have to go Metagross then. We get the kill. We get the kill. Good. Gardevoir. Okay, this is actually not bad for us. We know this isn't the mega evolved version of it. Oh God, my voice is cracking. It's so late. We just go for the big damage here. Because that kills, right? Oh, it's so close. Oh, wait, that's fine. Focus Blast is fine. If that's the best move it has against me, that's fine. Okay, I think we got this in the bag. Because now Sceptile is the last thing that comes in. It eats the damage from the stones. We don't have the health at this point. So we just go for bullet punch damage because this thing's defense is bad. Surely we don't survive. There's no way. Even with the berry, there's no way, right? There's just, there's... <laughs> Wait, Metagross is insane. No way. Oh my God, man. He's insane. He's insane. So clutch, just the guaranteed dub, dude. The guarantee. Oh my god, man. The Metagross clutch. What a play. Dude, I'm so glad it was a Gardevoir. Oh my god. I'm so glad it was a Gardevoir. Oh, yes, dude. Yes. Oh, we get Rock Smash. Wait, we could go catch Terrakion, chat. Wouldn't that be cool? It was a pixie plate Gardevoir, so it was basically a fairy spammer. Oh, oh, pixelate Gardevoir. Oh, actual pixie plate. Okay, cool. So the plan today, chat, is to fight Koga. Now, again, here's what we know. We know there is a normal, normal flying type, which could be a lot of different things, but we narrowed it down to, we are assuming it's either Pidgeot, because it can mega evolve, Dodrio, because it's so fast and probably has like a really annoying ability, or either Swellow or like Braviary. Those are like the ones that we're thinking, because Swellow's broken with like Flame Orb and Guts, and Braviary has access to like Tailwind and is bulky. So those are kind of like the ones that we're thinking. The Poison Dork type, as you guys keep thinking it is, Dork. Only really a couple of options. We came up with either Arbok, Skuntank, Drapion or or a Lolan Muck. The only ones I'd really be worried about would be Drapion or maybe Skuntank, just because it's got a huge move pool. There is a Mono Bug type, which the only ones we can even think of were Pinsir because it can Mega Evolve and Excelgor. That's it. Those are the only ones we can think of. Water Dork, as you guys were talking about earlier, Dork type. The only ones we could come up with were Sharpedo. Crawdont and Greninja. And I'm hoping it's not Greninja because we already saw a Frogadier in a gym battle. And I would assume that Misty's rematch has that. My hope is that it's either Sharpedo or Crawdont, but because we just saw Crawdont in the last gym, it's likely either Sharpedo or Greninja. So I'm not really preparing for a Crawdont because I'm not super worried about that. I don't think they'd put Crawdont in two gyms in a row. And then there's a Dragon Ghost type, which pretty much has to be either Dragapult or they'd have to give him Giratina, which I don't think they're giving him a stupid, crazy, huge legendary this early. And then there's an electric poison type, which the only one that we know of is Toxtricity. I think it's the only one even in the game. So as far as our team goes, there are actually a couple of encounters that are open to us still. So we don't have to only use what we've got because there are, in fact, with the Safari Zone open as well now, there are a lot of different Pokemon we could potentially catch. Wait, we actually have the route underneath us as well. And I don't think we can surf yet, but we could fish there. Oh, I can fish here. <gasps> That's right. Okay, so we get a Fuchsia City encounter. Goldeen with a super rod? Dude, am I getting trolled? This thing's physical defense is pretty bad, so. Oh, it, oh, okay, man. Yeah, of course you have Ice Beam. Yeah, it's fine, man. Yeah, it's just fine, man. You just have Ice Beam. That's cool, man. Also, I'm about to kill this Cursola. How is it faster? How are you, excuse me? How are you, what? What? Unfortunately, this is a whiteout. I don't know how that's faster. Cursola is actually extremely slow. I'm not really sure 
how it is faster, but eh, it's just fine, man. Okay, so that adds one to our whiteout counter, but because it was not a big, uh, like, boss kind of battle, does not count as a run killer. Again, these whiteouts, as, as minuscule as they seem, with how quickly that happened, just know, I mean, that's one whiteout closer to having to gift another sub. So these whiteouts have been starting to add up significantly, and my wallet does not appreciate it. So we'll just tank the Shadow Ball. Excuse me? Oh my god, man. Well, we're just getting critical hits every time with this thing. Yeah, it's just really cool, man. It's, it's just a cool, just a cool, fun thing. Incredibly cool. I'm going to send in Sceptile, assuming that it can sweep. Oh, it is Flame Body. Ah, oh, it's fucking cool, man. It's cool. It's fine. Oh, it's Santa Cana. We're fine. Oh, well, maybe we're not. How much does Bullet Seed do? <laughs> Oh, God, that's not enough. That's going to hurt. This is why we made the rule, man. This is incredibly cringe. You know, we'll, just, we'll just see if a fire punch and bullet punch can kill it. That's not going to be enough. All right, GG. I'm assuming we're not faster. Oh, actually. Huge. It, why did it do that? Never mind. We actually won. <laughs> this is our encounter. It's Wingle, but evolved, dude. Holy shit. I'm actually hyped. Oh my god, man. There's no way a Pelipper is this- There we go. Jeez, man. Oh, it has a Lucky Egg. That's kind of cool. Holy shit, it's fucking sunny as hell here. Oh my god, man. Why is it so fucking sunny? Dude. It's too bright. Well, it's Sunlight, Fire Punch. Doesn't one-shot. Fire Punch kills. Never mind, Mock Punch kills. Peepo Sad comes in. The big rain. <laughs> and now they're all fucked. <laughs> Let's go, people said. He's so strong. Okay, Absol. That's our first encounter. Hopefully, hope he doesn't run away, man. Okay. I mean, do we count fleeing? I feel like we don't really count fleeing here, right? I feel it's just like the first one we're actually able to catch. I feel like count... Because we don't even get to weaken them here. I mean, I guess we could just like limit it to where we have to rerun into the same Pokemon. Other than I guess this one. This is this is a worse encounter anyway, so it's really not that big of a deal. But we could just limit it to where whatever we run into first, we're only allowed to catch that. It's just if it flees, it flees, you know. Aloma Mola bait ball. So again, brand new area. This is area one. The last area I think is area four. Four. So our encounter here is going to be cast form. So we're only allowed to catch cast form here. We're going to bait it in. I'm going to throw another rock, man. I'm going to throw another. Okay, well, get in the ball, man. Get in the ball, man. Thank you. Huntail. Okay, not great, but it's a Pokemon. New area. Ooh, Klefki. Now, again, stupid ass design for a Pokemon, but it is maybe decent. Captain Keys is a pretty good name, man. Captain, Captain Keys. Keys. Okay, is this an omen? You know how I predicted that maybe we see a Mega Pidgeot in this gym? Maybe this is a sign, dude. We get the Mega Pidgeot stone here. Maybe that means we're going to run into a Mega Pidgeot, man. Thankfully, I've gone through the Safari Zone like a hundred million times in my life, so it's incredible. It's incredibly easy to remember where to go. Now we get the fishing encounter. What do we get here? Oh, God. God, I hate Bruxish so much. Such a dumb Pokemon. So now we, if again, if you don't know, we drop off the gold teeth here. He gives us strength. And now we do that. Rare candy. Easy. Chat. I need to level with you. We've been on this one run in Radical Red for like, I think three weeks now. It's been a really good run. Can we just say, it's been a really good run. And I know, like myself, some of you are emotionally attached to this run, man. But I need you to understand, this challenge is not about one random run winning us the whole thing. This challenge is about perseverance. And so if this run dies tonight, I just want you guys to all know it was a good run. I spent so much time trying to figure out what the right movesets would be for this fight. Because when there's 20 different Pokemon you're preparing for, 
it's impossible to have the perfect movesets. Best case scenario is we just kill whatever he starts with with Volt Switch, and that would be great. <laughs> but I'm assuming he's gonna switch out. If he switches into Dragapult, we go into Sceptile. In fact, Sceptile is the biggest key to us winning this fight. If Sceptile dies at the wrong time, this whole gym is basically fucked for us. <laughs> because it is our answer to Toxtricity with Bulldoze, and it is our answer to Dragapult. Because Break Swipe, okay, Mega Sceptile gets the ability Technician, which makes this a 90 power physical stab dragon attack. We have a base out of 135 attack. This is all super nerd stuff, okay? We have max attack investment into a 135 base attack stat, stab bonus, technician bonus, 90 power move. That should one shot a Dragapult. Dragapult does not have enough bulk to survive that. There's just no way. The only way Dragapult outspeeds I think would be with a choice scarf. So we're again hoping, <laughs> I am banking on this gym leader not putting choice scarfs on everything. <laughs> Cause if he does, it fucking blows. Additionally, Mega Sceptile is extremely important for the potential water dark Pokemon because if Jolteon falls too early, this is kind of our only other option for whatever this water dark type is. I am banking on whatever this water dark type is not having Ice Shard. If it has Ice Shard, it would be extremely cringe. Like, omega cringe. Like, the most amount of cringe. Again, items, Expert Belt, Leftovers for stalling, Leftovers for stalling, Focus Sash so we can take a hit, Sceptolite so we can Mega Evolve, and then the Leechy Berry, which is very specifically, chat, the reason I have that, that berry, when we get to low health, gives us an attack boost. So if we get hit by something that's like, crazy and proc sturdy and we're at like one health or whatever guaranteed the berry goes off and then we have a very strong sucker punch to use on something before we die oh also chat during my prep i was so hard stuck on the idea of a potential mega pidgeot i hadn't even considered other mega forms based on what we might be seeing i realized toxtricity has a gigantamax form or die or whatever yeah gigantamax form and i th i think Dragapult maybe has something like that? I can't remember if Dragapult had one. I know Toxtricity can have that. I know Pinsir could potentially have a Mega Evolution. So like, there's a couple of Pokemon we didn't even consider that could be a problem there. Also chat, I prepared as if all of the Pokemon this gym leader has are level 68. So if any of these are not at the level cap, that's actually good. That, that makes it even better. I just assumed they'd all be at the level cap. I need you to believe in me, because I'm very nervous. Please just don't be Dodrio. Just don't be Dodrio. Do not be a Choice Scarf Dodrio. If you are a Choice Scarf Dodrio, I'm old. Please don't be Dodrio. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, that's... Okay, that's still scary. Like I said, no matter what here, we just Volt Switch turn one and force him to do something. Okay, switches out. Dragapult. Okay, interesting. This actually could be good for us. This could be good. All I can say is I am extremely happy it wasn't Giratina. <laughs> I, there was this like lingering feeling of like, please don't do this to me, Radical Red. Do not give him Giratina. <laughs> Mega Evolve, Break Swipe. Oh, he didn't switch. Wait, did he not switch? Oh, he didn't switch. That one shot, it has to one shot. Mm, baby, ooh, we love that. Oh, we love that. Oh, I'm so glad that one shot. Oh, it's Drapion. Ah. Okay, this is the Poison Dark type. Damn it. I was really hoping it wouldn't be Drapion. We have some options here. We could protect to see what it's going for. My only concern is if he uses like a boosting move here, like something to boost speed or attack could be bad. Bulldoze would do a lot of damage here, but it wouldn't be enough to one shot. Wicked Blow. Okay, I don't know what Wicked Blow does, but now that Dragapult's dead, we could scout some of this thing's moves with Umbreon. What is this? I really didn't do that much. It must be a dark move. Protect for another turn of leftovers. He's just using Wicked Blow again. Oh, interesting. It looks like it gets priority maybe. Well, actually it would be faster anyways, because Umbreon's not fast. Okay, so that's getting a crit each time. That is now crit twice. I wonder how much PP it has. We might be able to just PP stall. Wow, that did way more than I thought it would. Wow, wait, that's actually huge. Oh, he's switching out completely. Oh, it's Granit. Ah. 
That's like worst case scenario for whatever the water dark type is. Okay, so we could be dealing with either Battle Bond Greninja or Protean Greninja. What is it gonna use? Surf? Wait, that's the best he has? Is he dead ass? Is that really the best he has for an Umbreon? I mean, it does not Wait. Oh, he's Life Orb Greninja. Oh, this is perfect. Okay, okay, okay. I think Umbreon can just stall this thing out completely. We just Moonlight here. Like, unless it gets a crit, I guess that would be bad, but we can just Moonlight here, get all that health back, protect again. Then we can go dig, we can just do that again. Wait, oh my God, nice. Okay, what is he switching into? Drapion, that's perfect, that's perfect. This is going so well. <laughs> Wait, we actually might do this. Wait, I wonder, this might be choice item. It might be like choice band, maybe choice scarf. We just go dig again. Wait, he's switching on again. <gasps> Ooh, that's okay, that's bad. Uh, okay. <laughs> it's okay, Umbreon is, we can lose it if we need to. That's not really a big deal. Umbreon has done plenty at this point. It's already gotten Drapion to a point where something could switch in and revenge kill it. If dig, it, with Umbreon is doing that much, and it's not even attack trained. I have like 30 EVs into attack. If Dig is doing that much to Drapion, a Bulldoze from, if this is the bug type, that means no Mega Pinsir, which means as long as we get our bird in for free against this, we're fine. I think we just let Umbreon go down so we can get a safe switch in, because it's already done its job and then some. Like I said, it was really only there for Dragapult. I don't even know if this Bug Buzz one-shots, because we have a massive amount of special defense. So we'll just go with the Sucker Punch for damage. How much does this do, I wonder? It's about what I expected. This Umbreon is going so huge, dude. It was not something I expected. This is actually massive. Sucker Punch. Wow, that actually almost killed. Wow, if I had given a little bit more attack investment, that would have actually killed. Holy shit, that's huge. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, so it, uh, this was the one that we knew. Based on what's left, I think this has to be, if there is a Mega, this would have to be it. We protect this turn, because we want to. We need to scout what it's actually going for. Okay, so there we go. So Gigantamax Toxtricity. We protect to see what move it's going for. If it's going for an electric move, it's going Volt Switch. Perfect, okay. If it's going Volt Switch, that is a safe switch into Wrecking Ball. So now we threaten it with Earthquake. That's going to hurt, but we have Sturdy. So this should kill. Honestly, Earthquake should kill. That's four times effective. That has to kill, right? Oh, baby. Oh. Oh, my God. I'm, mm, mm, I'm ascending. I'm ascending. <laughs> cross Poison. That's all you have is Cross Poison? Big. That's all he has. That does nothing. <laughs> that does nothing. No Ice Fang? Dude. Oh. Okay, Greninja. Greninja, we just swap into Lapras. Um, we can just protect. A little extra healing. At this point, Lapras has done its job. If it dies, it dies. Okay, good info. Okay, it is Battle Bond. Very interesting, but it is dead. But that's good to know. It is Battle Bond Greninja. I guess next time we'd be able to use info anyways. So we'll get a more in-depth look, but regardless, that is huge. I think it's just the flying type, right? Isn't that all he has left? It's just Swellow? It is. Wait, we just win, GG. We actually just win. <laughs> Dude, first try. Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> Dude. Oh my God. The run lives. Oh my God. Dude. I'm so glad. Oh my God, dude. Finally, finally, all the time I spent trying to strategize for all of this, man. <laughs> I tried to strategize for like 20 different Pokemon. <laughs> oh my God, man. And some of those were like worst case scenario mods. Greninja and Drapion. Oh my God. I'm like shaking. <laughs> my heart is like pounding, dude. Oh my God. I was emotionally prepared to lose the run to Koga. I was like, surely there's gonna be some like choice scarf bullshit that ruins my plan. And we we did that losing two Pokemon during that fight. That's six gyms down, chat. That's six gyms down. Oh my God. <laughs>